If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the top 10... Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. I'm going to be going over the most overpowered players in Madden 21 Ultimate Team now. Guys, there's been so many new players. We have the 50. We have Series 2. We have Banger Legends today. There's been so much stuff, so I figured like it was time to remake the video and go over who I think you guys should be picking up right now. Now, the guys, the whole list is pretty much revamped. Everyone on here is pretty much new, except for one player who's only going to be on here for until we can pass his overall, pretty much. But, super excited to get into this, guys. These guys are the ones that I think you absolutely need. I have picked up, I believe, two already on this list. Now, I do have to pick up more. I'm just waiting for the price to come down a little bit. And, of course, the new ones that came out today, have to, they're a must. So, I'm waiting to save my coins for them. But, guys, let's get into this video. And, of course, for the Poodle Squad, as per usual, guys, if you are new and you want to be shouted out in one of the Poodle Squads, all you got to do is like the video, turn the noti bell next to the sub button, and like the video, as per usual. And, of course, always comment down below Poodle Squad, because if you do not, I will not see your submission. So, make sure you're always doing that. But today's shout out goes to it's show stopping shout out to you man for showing support thank you so much now if you guys are new always subscribe as well but let's get into the video so the first guy on this list the thing with this first guy is that because of series two he's become crazy affordable now because he was an ltd which was pretty much just making it horrible to get this car which is jamal adams jamal adams is so expensive but you can use your 89 to 90 power pass on him which is what i suggest now his power of course is super expensive because of that but 100k for LTD Jamal Adams seems a lot better than spending 800k and then still some power map regardless 89 speed 88 excel 84 tackle 90 play rec 90 pursuit 87 man 90 zone 8, uh, 92 hit power so if you do power him up and get him up all the way he will have a 93 hit power like a 94 zone coverage uh, he will get the 90 man threshold as well as get a really high play rec get a 90 speed get an 89 excel 85 tackle so he's gonna be one of the fastest cards in the game also being a zone and man safety with crazy hit power you could even potentially put him at cornerback just off that man and zone alone and, and pursuit and play wreck or even if you leave him at safety you could man him up you could blitz you could, you could, he's so he's like a dual purpose if you get him and tyron matthew you pretty much rock him all over the field which is why i highly recommend you go scoop jamal adams the card's crazy good you really can't go wrong with that jamal adams card which is why he's on my top power pass players for the most part but moving on down to wide receiver, which is going to be our next player on the list, is Tyrone Calico, uh, Calico, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, he's pretty much the new Tyree Kill right now. If you do power mob, you get him up to 92 speed. And the beauty of him isn't just his speed, it's what he can do beyond the speed, which is going to just be his catching prowess. Like, he has a 90, we have a 92 speed powered up. Let's go unpowered up, just because he is kind of expensive. 91 speed, 90 jumping, 86 catching, 89 catching traffic, 89 spec, 85 short, 88 medium, and 91 deep. Now... He already has the deep threshold, he's fast, and his catching is just right there. That's where the power comes in play. If you do power up, you do get the threshold for spec, catching traffic. You'll be one short of the medium, the short will get up there, the deep right running is going to be crazy high, and he's 6'4", so you're going to be getting a monster target that's super fast. Honestly, guys, this card is super glitchy, super overpowered. I want to pick him up, I'm just for the price to come down a little bit. He's part of that list of ads I have to add to at some point. And then for the next one, we got right outside linebacker, Lawrence Taylor. He's super cheap. Now you got to take advantage. I picked up mine yesterday. You can't go wrong. 285 for usually the greatest defensive player in Mutt. So Lawrence Taylor, of course, you should power him up as well as power can be super cheap. And if it's not, you can go play the solo challenge and get your free Lawrence Taylor power up. Now powered up and chemmed up. He's going to have an 88 speed, 91 excel, which is absolutely crazy for a pass rusher. 87 strength, 86 tackle, 86 play right, 87 block shot, 90 power move, and 88 finesse move. Now, once you put the pass rush camps and everything on him, he'll be above 90 finesse and power move by a decent amount. Plus the speed. That's pretty much all you got. That's all you worry about. He stops the run, and he's super, super good at rushing the passer, which is what you got to love about a Lawrence Taylor card. Now, again, make sure you don't play him out in the zone or anything. That's not where he stands out. You have to always be rushing him. Unless you're doing some disguise stuff, but even then, still iffy. Next on the list, guys, we do have... Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is super OP. Now, people have been saying that he's no better than Steve Atwater. That's just not true. He's faster than Atwater. 
he's better at everything. First off, Atwater only an 86 speed, which you guys may not know, it's been a complete liability on weekend league for me. Brian, Steve Atwater, one of Barry Sanders and Bo Jackson, even like a Cam Akers comes running down, they can just outrun him to the edge because 86 speed is quite slow. Now, 88 speed may not be crazy fast, but the plus two speeds make a big difference, as well as the pursuit, the excel, the tackle, the play rec, and not to mention the zone hit power, both above 90s. Now, yes, Steve Atwater could get there chemmed, but Brian Dawkins goes well beyond that because he gets there just powered up. So that's, that's super important to me as well. I mean, it's not the craziest upgrade over him, but being the best free safety in the game still makes you on the list, right? That was just my personal opinion. And then next, guys, the guy, the guy that's next, he's going to be on this list for quite a while just because you can't discount this guy. Now, a close, I'm going to give you guys a half here, like either Barry Sanders or Reggie Bush. Now, Reggie Bush is like a baby Barry. The only issue with Reggie Bush is you do have to power him up, and his power-up like 250k right now because his power-ups are crazy expensive. So once the power-up does go down, I'd recommend Reggie Bush, you can power him up. He actually ends up one speed faster than Barry Sanders. And of course, he'd be a little bit less change of direction, a little bit less agility, a little bit less excel, but a little bit less price in general. So, highly recommend you take advantage of that. Like I said, the only thing is going to be with Barry is that he's still going to be the best for a while. He's a 93 overall. You just can't discount that. You really can't. But overall, guys. Those are the first few. Now to get to the top two, which are our newest cards for the day. Those cards are absolutely insane. Gotta go over those real quick. Those are gonna be the last two guys on the list here. Let's get into those. For the final two guys on this list, coming in at the second to last spot is going to be Deion Sanders here. Now Deion Sanders, LTD. Of course you can get the regular one or the other one. Either way, I recommend you power them up. So it's kind of the same as regardless, that's gonna look the same, but 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping, 90 play rec, 92 man coverage, 91 zone, 82 press. Now the beauty of this card is just that athleticism. And the issue with the issue with playing a Deion Sanders is that you may think you have space, but he's faster than you. So like when you're when he when you're ahead of him, he's just trailing you. And as soon as the ball is thrown, he makes a break on the ball. He's super deceptive, and he, he's super acrobatic. That's why you put acrobat on him. He's able to make some crazy diving picks, some crazy diving swats. And because he's so fast, you really can't burn him, unless you're trying to press a lot. But for the most part, you really can't burn him. And with that jumping and athleticism combo, when you have him like chemmed up and everything. His man zone gets up to like 94, 95. Like, that's crazy. His press is always going to be bad, but again, just don't press him. And this year, pressing's kind of OP, so I haven't really seen much of an issue when I do press him. But he's just crazy. And he has an 82 catch, which gives him crazy animations. He's just super difficult to deal with, and he also returns the ball as a, as a kick returner. He's just crazy. And then coming at the next spot here is Michael Vick. Mike Vick is amazing this year. I played with him already a few times. I did a gameplay yesterday. I really like the way he feels. He blows away Lamar Jackson. He's faster than Lamar. He's stronger. He has a stronger arm than Lamar. His accuracy is the exact same, but actually better because he gets the deep accuracy threshold. Here's the thing. Lamar really doesn't get any worthwhile passing thresholds for the most part, besides maybe short, but Vic gets the deep. Now, short's whatever. Short's an easy throw to make anyways. The issue with Lamar I've noticed is like Tyreek Burns, when I throw it, it's either inaccurate or if it is accurate, it doesn't go far enough. Or the ball has so much carry on it that the safety can catch up. Vic gets that ball out and keeps the lead going. You know what I mean? Lamar has a noodle arm. So Vic fully chemmed up and everything will get like a 96, 97 throw power. Like that's insane at this point in the year. Gonna have this crazy high throw power, which is great for anything. You see an hour out the second the tenant makes a cut, you throw the ball, it's gonna be it's gonna be on a, on a, on a string right to him. His arms are so strong. I really do love this Michael Vic. Hopefully you guys end up picking some of these guys up on this list. That's better for the entire list, guys. Pretty great list, guys. Honestly, you want, you want most of these guys, like I said yesterday, with my shopping spree and stuff, I did pick up most of these guys that I can at least afford, and then I'm going to have to go get some more coins. But Vic and Dion are must. If you can't afford Barry, you're always, I mean, Reggie Bush is a pretty decent option as well. And then, of course, you need Lawrence Taylor, Calico, Jamal Adams. All these guys are crazy. Make sure to get your power pass to get some of these guys as well, because they do fit into that line. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you want a chance to be shout out on the Pool Squad, all you got to do is like the video, turn the noti bell, and comment down below Pool Squad. Guys, about it. Make sure to subscribe as well for you. I'm out. Peace.